Hey guys, uh, Luther here from Luther's Woodworking. Um, we got another video for you today. It's going to be a Steve Good uh, project. Let me just turn my camera here and show you what we got going on. Um, I always get Steve Good's uh, newsletters every day and we go through and see what he's got. And uh, we came across these uh, key fobs that uh, pattern that he has. Um, it's six different dinosaurs cut in like a egg shape key fob here um so go to steve good's uh website at uh scrollsawworkshop.blogspot.com and then you can download this pattern you'll need to download uh these two sheets here to make the, the key fobs now i did change a few things on on his design not much uh, he does design some real uh, good crafts here. Um, what I did was on the, on the page here, we cut out the actual dinosaur on the fob. It says one quarter inch thick. That's what I'm using for this here keychain. Uh, he also has got a page here for the back piece of the fob that you'd glue on. And it also says quarter inch thick. What I did was I'm going to be using eighth inch thick um, plywood because it'll just make the keychain just a little thinner and make it a little easier to get that that key ring on the fob. So other than that, there's no changes. Now what I'm using is quarter inch Baltic birch, and what I do is I cut strips of this Baltic birch three and a half by three and a half and then I cut all my um, pattern out and you can see here I got my tape on the piece of wood and I got my pattern attached to it and I have also my pilot hole here drilled in and another thing nice about this project is you only have one inside cut per key chain so that makes it a lot easier for that. And these are pretty easy to cut out. Um, but I, I cut three and a half by three and a half squares. And I figure that is, that's going to give me uh, a pretty good amount to hang on to to be able to cut this pattern out. You could go smaller if you want because you can see this pattern's a lot smaller than this block of wood here. But I want to have enough to hang on to to be able to to uh, make that cut. So I want three and a half by three and a half pieces. And then also, instead of using quarter inch, I'm using eighth inch for the back piece for that once I get it cut out. Now, another trick that I'm gonna talk about and show you is when you uh, print out this pattern, you print out the top piece and you print out the backing. I don't use this backing at all. Um, and I'm gonna show you how to get that backing cut out because you could cut these out separate, but if you cut this one out and then you cut the backing out, you may not get it exactly the same size as you want, and then there's be a lot of sanding and stuff. But I'm going to show you how to do that without cutting it separate. So, like I said here, I got all my, and I got, there's six different designs. This video, I'm just going to be doing the one keychain because everyone's going to be the same. Um, so I'm not going to do them all. I'm just going to do this one, and then all the other ones are going to be the same. So we're going, to, we're going to head over to the scroll saw. We're going to cut this out, and then I'm going to show you how to cut the backing out without doing it uh, separate. So let's head over to the scroll saw and get this little dinosaur cut out. All right, here at the saw. Now, the blade I'm using to cut these out with is the number three reverse tooth um, blade. Um, you could go a little smaller if you feel you need to go a little smaller because these are small to cut out but um, number three should be all right uh, as far as cutting this out so first thing you're going to need to do is thread your blade through here and cut this dinosaur out of this uh, piece and these are real quick to make so we'll get started here
All right, so that was real quick cutting that out. So we have the actual dinosaur cut out of the key fob. Now, you don't want to cut this egg out yet, and you don't want to drill this hole yet. Um, we're going to head back over to the workbench. I'm going to show you how to get this so you don't have to cut that backer out uh, separate. All right, back at the workbench. Now, we'll set these other ones aside. Like I said, all these are going to be the same way as far as making them. Um, the next thing you're going to want to do after you get your dinosaur cut out of the key fob is take your backing piece. This is an eighth inch Baltic birch, exactly the same size as the one I cut out for the fob here. And you're going to take that, line it up, and you're going to take some uh, pieces of... Uh, uh, painter's tape or anything and you're just going to tape them tape this together Just stick some tape. I usually put four pieces on around it to tape that the two pieces together Okay, so I have the back taped to the front right here now the next thing you're going to want to do is drill this hole in for the key ring to fit through because then that's going to drill the hole through the backing piece too. And doing it this way without, so you're not cutting the backer out separate, doing it this way, when you cut this egg out, the back piece is going to be the exact same shape as the top piece. And then when you glue it together, very minimal uh, sanding. So let's go and drill uh, this hole right here and then we'll head over to the scroll saw and cut this out okay as far as the, the size of hole that you drill for this uh, keychain here um, I just took a drill bit kind of measured it up get about the same size a hole and I'm just going to go through and just drill that hole through there now we're going to head over to the scroll saw and cut this out. All right, so I'm still using the number three. We're just going to cut this uh, egg shape out here. We have the backer cut out and because I cut that backer at the same time I cut the complete thing out that backer is exactly the same shape as the actual front part of the keychain so now uh, the next step would be to take off this uh, tape and pattern which comes off pretty easy on these All right, now let's head back over to the workbench. I'm going to show you how we uh, finish this up. All right, here back at the workbench. Now, if you watch some of my other videos, you'll see that I have a piece of wood here with some sandpaper attached to it. Um, comes in handy with uh, sanding small parts. So you can just go like this here. And sand these up just a little bit, front and back. And you got that one, and then you can just kind of sand these pieces here. All right, set that aside. The next step now, um, you can decide to. I like to paint. 
these back pieces of bright color because kids like bright colors and they look really cool. So, or you could stain it or you could just glue it together like this here and leave it natural. Um, there's really no right or wrong way of doing it. You could leave it like that and just put a, a oil on it or something like that. Or you, I like to paint the back because then whatever color you paint this back, it's going to show through on the dinosaur here. So what I got here is just, I just use this um, craft paint that you can buy at any art store. And we just take a little paint here. And this goes pretty quick. Now I just paint the whole back one color. And this paint dries really fast, so it's not like you're waiting forever for paint to dry. And you can stain these or whatever you want to do. I like using the bright colors. All right, so we got that painted pretty quick. And once that's dry, once that's dry, um, I don't know if you can see it, but once that's dry, you take this here piece here, put a little glue on here, and you can glue and just set it there and it'll dry. Now, I have some done already that I did. We'll set that one aside. Here is a couple that I did. I don't know if you can see them or not. You should be able to see them. I did some red, green ones, all these different ones here. I did a bunch of them. Here's another red one. But once that, you paint the color, um, it really shows up with bright colors. That's why I like using the bright colors. And then all you have to do is put your um, key ring on it. Um, and one of the reasons why I went with eighth inch backer instead of quarter inch is because it just makes it a little bit thinner and it's a little easier putting this uh, key ring on because you guys you got to spread these key rings to whatever thickness you know to get over this here key fob so I just wanted to keep it as thin as possible so they turned out really nice um, fun and easy to make really quick I've made I think 12 or 14 of these already um, so go to Steve Good's website download the pattern um, and he's got a lot of other patterns there that are really fun to make um, make sure you hit the subscribe button give me a thumbs up if you like the video and ring that bell because I do have more videos coming out and um, so we will see you on the next video